Hi, it's Mark here from The Big Picture, and thanks for joining us today. Today we're talking about uh, using dashboards with digital signage, in particular uh, bright sign digital signage media players are the ones we use. So we've got a real live example of something I've set up just quickly on the fly. It took me about an hour to do. So this here is, um, we, well, we're running here on the bright sign XD230. Now it's just a basic solid state media player. Okay, so it sits on the network, it's got a HDMI out, uh, goes up to the TV. What I've done here is I've set up, uh, this, is Ge this is a product called Gecko Board. It's just a web-based dashboard um, company. So you, you can log in on, I think, I think it costs about 19, 20 bucks a month. Uh, and you can set up all your widgets. This here is a Google Analytics uh, web, you know, this is just some, some ones I've done on the fly. Um, this is a YouTube feed. This is Facebook likes, so likes in the last seven days, and total page likes. There's obviously a time feed in here, and this is just a couple of things I've thrown in. Now that there is a HTML feed, so it's a web page, effectively. Uh, it's a public viewed web page. So I've just dropped that into the, the Bright Author software that runs on the, the Bright Sign, or that runs the Bright Sign. And down below here, um, I've set up the Bright Sign with, with what's called an RSS ticker. So this here is just a, a live news feed. This is live data coming through, it refreshes every five minutes or whatever time I say to refresh it. So uh, this is basically just how you can set up a dashboard. Uh, if you want to be able to change, like have this dashboard run for 20 seconds and change to a new dashboard or a new slide or, or a new image or run it, uh, you can run, so look for us, an example here, this is our tech zone. So this is the boys come in in the morning, we could have some, some dashboards that say uh, how many jobs you completed yesterday, total sales for that individual person, uh, job completion ratios, all sorts of different things we could have for KPIs for that. Now they come in at be some, somewhere between 7.45 and 8.15. After that, they're not looking at it. So we could then change that in a schedule uh, to show something else, some images or uh, you know, just a, a, a basic digital sign or trigger videos or whatever we want to do. So, just a, just a quick live example of how you can set up dashboards in BrightSign using the, the BrightSign media player. This is the XD230 uh, with a live feed, uh, live feed from, the, from a web-based dashboard or HTML. Okay, and thanks and we'll talk to you again soon.